sorry, Dad. Sure, you could get him a new car. You could also light a pile of money on fire. Because as long as Mr. It Wasn't My Fault takes the wheel on occasion, maintaining this car is your best option. So bigger, stronger, Sorry. with quality parts and a whole lot of Napa know-how. Dad, where are you going? Relationships. It's not just being on a first name basis. It's a partnership built on trust. This is Scott Ball, president of the Bank of Salem. Since 1883, the Bank of Salem has been serving our local community with the kind of personal service and professionalism that builds relationships. We've earned the trust of our customers with over a century of strength and stability, never once changing our name or compromising customer service. Stop by one of our two locations in Salem, visit our website, or download our free mobile app. The Bank of Salem, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome to this special broadcast of KSMO Media. Tonight, we're live from Bunker and it's Lady Eagles basketball. This game is being brought to you by People's Community Bank, GNS Convenience Store, Big Mama's Bruchetto Bistro, Mel and Linda Ritter, Keisha and Junior Meyer, R&R &R Lawn Care, Love of God Ministry, NH Auto Supply, Salem Memorial District Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Bank of Salem, Napa, Lunay Auto Supply, Progressive Ozark Bank, Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Town and Country Insurance, Carroll Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust, South Town Furniture, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Living the Dream Outdoor Properties, Wilson Mortuary, Elwood Real Estate, Dent County Vet Clinic, Line by Design Health Center, Hometown Mechanical, Ozark Overhead Door, Healthy Dent County, and Town Screen LLC. And now, get ready for Bunker Lady Eagles Basketball. Happy New Year from all of us at KSMO Media. It's our first trip this year down to Bunker, Missouri for the Eagles games. And tonight we'll have the Lady Eagles taking on the South Iron Lady Panthers in game one. And we'll follow that up with the varsity matchup between the boys, the Eagles and the Panthers, who last year in district final had probably one of the best high school games I've seen in the last 25 years. Back and forth, up and down. We look forward to seeing that again tonight. It's going to be uh, an interesting matchup. Best first game of the year. A lot of times teams come out after the holidays a little sluggish. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's why they play the games, as we always say. You never know who's going to be on top of their game coming out of the holiday break and who's not. And that's why we are here to watch the Lady Eagles and the Lady Panthers. South Iron, again, doing a very good job this year. They are having an outstanding season. And the Bunker Lady Eagles, they're holding their own. So we'll see how this game plays out. We have the starters uh, coming up in just a moment. Matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and give those to you right now. For the Lady Eagles, starting will be Kinsey Barton, Paige Teft, Lexi Sanders, Caitlin Belk, and Haley Turnbow. For the South Iron Lady Panthers, it'll be Anna Parker, Madison Ayers, Peyton German, Drew Gale, and Ensley Dinkins. So these ladies are ready to go. I remember South Iron, we did a game in Salem, and they were at the top of their game, and they defeated the Salem Lady Tigers handily Early on in the season, they are a team to be reckoned with. They can definitely shoot the ball from the three, and they will drive to the basket as well, causing a lot of foul trouble. So we'll see how the Lady Eagles respond to the Lady Panthers here in this game. As we get ready to start this game, we're going to go ahead and take a break and come back with the first game of the night, the Lady Panthers, the Lady Eagles, coming your way in two, or make it a three-minute break. We're going to come back. This is Lady Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. Most of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. 
Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as Pain Relief BioFreeze products. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm here to talk about life, your life, your dreams, your work, your family, and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris appointment as a prospective or returning student. Welcome back to the Bunker High School Gymnasium. Stan Stevens with you here on KSMO Media with the Lady Eagles going up against the Lady Panthers. And we hope you're going to enjoy the contest tonight as they are introducing the Lady Eagles at time. And again, South Iron, and when you're watching this on whatever stream method you have, we are on KSMORadio.com, which is a Twitch account. We are also on our KSMO Stream Facebook page and on our KSMO YouTube page. We hope you'll enjoy watching it on any one of those three channels tonight, whichever one comes in best for you. The South Iron Lady Panthers are there in their burgundy outfits. They have uniforms with white trim on the shoulder caps, white numbers, and white trim on the, sh on the short bottoms. Bunker Lady Eagles are in their white uniforms with the green trim on the shoulder caps, also on the shorts and on the numbers and the lettering. So we're ready to get this one underway. It will Aaron Drew Gale tipping up against Paige Taft. Nice crowd on hand. We expect it'll be a pretty much a full house by the time the boys game gets underway and people can get off work and get here. Right now it's Madison Ayers with the ball, handing it off to Anna uh, Parker. Going back on top, trying to fire it down in the corner to Ayers, tipped out of bounds by Bunker's Caitlin Belk. Gail ready to inbound it, flips it in the corner to Ayers, back out on top to go out near center court to reset the play with the ball right now. It's Peyton German, back to Ayers, trying to get inside, does to Gale. Gale flips it down to the baseline, trying to get it there as Dinkins flips it back out on top to Ayers. Ayers drives the paint, lays it up and in. Madison Ayers makes it 2 nothing for South Iron. Full court press by South Iron. Payton comes down to Bell. Across the floor, goes into the corner. Bunker has that ball on the top of the key as Turnbo handing that ball off to Barton. Barton trying to drive down. Gets in the corner, taking it to the paint. A little looping shot will not go. Try to flip it up. Brought down by Peyton German. Back the other way comes the Panthers. Ayers has it, driving straight down the floor to the hoop. Lays it up, misses. Ball brought under control by Bunker. Tapped, getting it down to Barton. Barton going baseline. Stops, kicks it back out on top. Waiting for it there is Belk. Man-to-man -man coverage by South Iron. This pass goes all the way across the floor. 
to Turnbow. Struggles with it, almost walks with it, but gets it back to Barton. Barton trying to drive in the baseline, trying to scoop it up again. Will not fall, but taken down by, by the Lady Eagles. Turnbow on the rebound, but again, a shot up by Barton. It does not fall. Brought down in control, quickly down the other way. Here comes South Iron, putting it up and in. For the Lady Panthers is Anna Parker. 4-0 South Iron early on this game. Bunkers had their chances, just can't get it to, fall, to go down. Turnbow has it. Out on top, Belk trying to get it down low to Barton. Fought for and stolen away by South Iron, but then they turn around and travel. Bunkers ball under the basket. Lexi Sanders was going to inbound it. She'll get replaced. And it comes to Barton on the inbound. Barton goes back to the corner of the three-pointer. It will not fall. Taken there by Sutton, trying to keep it alive, but then throws it out of bounds. Good hustle by Bunker, but then trying to keep it alive. Could not as Sutton's back pass went out of bounds. Here's Ayers down the right wing. Now the middle of the floor. Kicks it down low, trying to find her way, but underneath the basket is German. And the corner Ayers for the three-pointer. That's off the rim. Will not count. And brought under control by Barton. Kinsey comes down the right side, right in front of the South Iron bench. Pulls up, goes in the corner, waiting for it there. For Bunker, trying to get the shot up and in, but it will not fall as Haley Turnbow back the other way. Ayers all the way down, off the glass, too hard. Gets her own rebound and then is fouled. Foul called on Maddie Dickerson. She just checked in moments ago and airs to the free throw line. And it's good. Five nothing, Lady Panthers early on in this contest. Next one is no good. Taken down, put back up and in on the rebound by Anna Parker. She's got four seven nothing lead. By Lady Panthers, Bunker breaks the press. Here's Barton, goes down low to Dickerson, back to Barton, off the glass, will it go? No, and a blocking foul called on the Lady Panthers. Peyton German with that foul, her first, team's first. Barton the line to shoot two. Free throw is short. First quarter of this Contest between these two rivals. Bunker and South Iron. Barton gets that second free throw to go. Breaks the schneid, it's seven to one. Here comes South Iron again, down quickly down the floor. Parker down the corner, kicks it back out on top. Waiting for it there is German, all the way across to Ayers. Ayers to the middle of the floor, back to German. Handing it back to Parker. Parker looking inside, nothing there. Goes down in the corner, and a foul is going to be called on Dickerson, her second, as she bumped into Drew Gale. Munger pretty much in the 2 1 2 zone. As German goes to Ayers beyond three. Quickly pass across to German. Goes down in the corner. Shot up and off the iron from Gale. Ball loose and taken under control by Bunker, nice play by Bell. The other way, Turnbow loses it, goes in the corner, is stolen away by South Iron. They go quickly down the floor to the other side and Dinkins walks with the ball. Ensley got it, started to turn and then unfortunately for her, shifted both feet at the same time. Inbound comes to Barton, coming up to the timeline. Flips it back across, taking it now for Bunker is Belk. Belk outside the three-point line. Fires it back to Barton between the circles. Looking left, trying to drive. Kicks it back to Dickerson. And that ball off to Turnbow. Turnbow trying to get a pick. Now to Barton for the three. And it is just wide. And taken under control by Ayers. Ayers to Gale. Now back to Ayers. Four minutes to go in this first quarter. Ball in the corner to Parker. Parker shot partially blocked. Comes down and put back up and in, though. 
Johnny on the spot was Ensley Dinkins. The ball was deflected right to her off the block. Now the pass to Barton. Barton trying to drive into the zone. Goes back to, sorry to Belk. The shot up off the iron. No good. Dickerson with a rebound. Puts it back up and in. Maddie Dickerson on the rebound. 9-3 South Iron. Pass up the middle of the floor to Dinkins. And she walks with it again. Ensley gets it, starts taking off with both feet. Can't do that. And ball turned over to the Lady Eagles. The inbound comes to Barton. Back to Caitlin Belk. Belk trying to drive to the right side, gets cut off. Now spins, trying to get a little bit of a pick there, does. Belk still on the perimeter, driving baseline all the way down. Short jumper is good. Caitlin Belk got the nice pick. From Paige Deft and takes it to the hole, 9-5. South Iron with the lead. The pass goes down low to layup. Missed by Anna Parker, brought down by Bunker. Sanders all the way down now into the offensive zone. It's Belk on top of the three, off the iron. No good by Turnbo. Back on top for another three-pointer. This one off the iron again by Lexi Sanders, and a foul is going to be called under the basket. Foul called on Haley Turnbow. A couple of nice rebounds, but unable to hit that three. Still 9-5, South Iron with the lead. Pass in the corner to German, all the way across the floor. A long three off the iron, no good, but taken down underneath nicely by Drew Gale. She almost overran that one, but got it back and was able to Put it home after the rebound. Now a turnover by Bunker on the inbound, trying to get it to Barton. And the ball will belong to South Iron on the baseline. 11-5 our score. Gale fires it out on top to German. Goes in the corner, waiting for it there is Parker. Now back between the circles, she resets the play. Parker, left side pass to Gale. Gale goes inside, kick it back. Back outside, three, it's up off the iron, no good. Tipped and got into control by Belk. Belk, a long pass, that's gonna be stolen away. And here comes Ayers down, but she hits the bottom of the backboard. And again, brought down by Belk underneath the basket. Getting that one off to Lexi Sanders. Sanders drives into the paint, stops trying to kick it inside, again, stolen away by South Iron. Fifth turnover by Bunker here in this first quarter. 1.48 to go. Set up for German, all the way across the floor to Parker. Parker in the middle of the floor. German back to Ayers, driving in. Ayers shot partially blocked, gets her own rebound and is fouled. Madison drove in. Shot was blocked, went off the glass, came right back to her and she was able to draw the foul. Foul is gonna be called on Paige Teft. Ayers to the line, and she missed it. She won for three now from the stripe. 11-5, South Iron on top. Next one is good. 12-5. Bunger tries the long pass to Barton. Barton on the left side, comes back to the middle of the floor, trying to take it to the hole, does, and missed it on the left-handed layup. Ball comes loose on the floor, taken by Parker. Quick pass down the other way. With that ball is Dinkins. And Dinkins called for a double dribble. Not her night. Ball turned over to the Bunker Lady Eagles. 12-5, South Iron with the lead. The inbound comes to Barton from Belk. Pass back to Belk down the right side. Belk to the paint, pulls it up a little bit short. Missed the shot and German on the backside has it. Long pass intended there for Dinkins underneath and getting fouled was Anna Parker. South Iron had two girls beyond the defense of Bunker. And they draw the foul. Foul called on Callie Sutton. And Parker to the line to shoot two. Hits the first. One oh two to go, first quarter. 
Haley Turnbro checks out. Parker hits them both. Anna's got six in this first quarter, and the lead goes to 14 to five. Now the inbound stolen away with the ball right now. Here's Parker again. Goes in the corner to Gale. Gale all the way across the floor to Madison Ayers. Now to German. They keep it on the perimeter. Back to Gale for the three, and it's good. Drew Gale hits that three. South Iron loves to move that ball on the perimeter. And when they get that open three, they'll take it. Foul called, and I believe on Parker, as they double teamed. The bunker inbound. Now a long pass to Barton. Barton over the timeline. Handing it back to Belk. Back to Barton. 32 seconds to go. Underneath it goes. Put up and in by Callie Sutton. On that low post. That ball tipped, stolen away by Bunker. Here they come the other way. Belk spins, turns, trying to get off the glass. It trickles wide. Brought down on the backside by Dinkins. Handing it off there to German across the timeline, getting into Ayers down to nine seconds. Parker drives the baseline back to Ayers. Bears out on top to Gale. Partially blocked as she went for the three. Kept alive by Bunker, but they throw it out of bounds as the buzzer goes. We play one quarter here at the Bunker Gymnasium. 17 for South Iron, seven for the Lady Eagles. Back in a minute, this is Lady Eagle basketball on KSMO Media. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. South Iron with the lead here in our first of two games from the Bunker High School gym. We want to thank a lot of great sponsors as we go along here. People's Bank, our title sponsor, making it possible for us to be here, along with Big Mama's Bruschetto, G&S Convenience Store, and the Love of God Ministries, plus many others. We'll get to those as we go along. Here's Barton trying to drive in, but she's double teamed and travels with the ball. Turnover number six for the Lady Eagles here in the first half. Gale has it back to Ayers. Ayers to the timeline, flips it down to Parker. Parker in that left corner, looking across the floor. Instead goes to Ayers, top of the key. She'll take a long three, and she hits. Madison Ayers has seven now on the game, and the lead now 13 for South Iron. Here's Barton all the way down, trying to flip it underneath. Ball stolen away by Ayers and back comes South Iron. All the way down, Dinkins short jumper is good from the baseline on that low post. Ensley has four. Barton again, driving down, trying to take it straight to the hole. Backs up, takes a three pointer and it's good. Kinsley Barton hits the three. Now quickly down the other way, missing that one is Dinkins. Brought down and controlled by Belk. Belk has five rebounds in this first half. 22-10 South, South Iron. Barton has it on the inbound. Again, man-to-man -man coverage. Very tight man-to-man -man coverage by South Iron usually. The pass goes down underneath and goes off the hands of Paige Tefton out of bounds. 22-10 South Iron. We're in the second quarter, 6.45 to go. We have the boys varsity still coming your way. Here's Ayers all the way down. Little, little, nice little flip scoop. And she lays it in. Madison Ayers, a very talented young lady. Quick, good shooting. Can be physical and can play very finesse basketball. She's just a good all-around player. Pass goes underneath the tap. 
Shot hits the bottom of the backboard, but she is fouled there by Madison Ayers. Her first foul, and to the line goes Steff to shoot two. 24-10 our score. Teff's free throw short. Dickinson back in the game comes in for Lexi Sanders. Next free throw, it will not go. Captured underneath the basket by Dinkins. Dinkins long pass to Ayers in the corner. Fires it across the floor, intended for Parker, but out of bounds. Fifth turnover by South Iron in this first half. Coach Jimbo Blackwell not real happy with that. Again, full court press by South Irons. The pass comes in to Barton. Barton trying to get it away from Ayers, does, and the ball is tipped. Taken there by Dickinson, but now it's stolen away. Here comes Dickens, and a nice block there by Belk. Another steal by South Iron. As the Eagles just couldn't get past that tenacious, tenacious four-court press. Ball goes underneath, taken there, and a timeout call. Martin falls on the ball, and Bunker will keep possession on the steal. 24-10, 6.02 to go in this, the first half. We'll take a 30-second break and return. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Your legacy, protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. Back of the Bunker High School Gymnasium. High School Basketball brought to you by People's Bank, our title sponsor, along with Keisha and J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and the r, r Lawn Care. South Iron has it. Fadeaway jumper by Dinkins won't go. And Bunker is able to bring down that re rebound. Is counted. Sutton giving it across to Belt. Now on top, Barton. Between the circles, left side pass to Dickerson. That ball tipped and stolen away by Ayers all the way down off the glass and in count the basket and she draws the foul and for Maddie Dickerson that will be her third 539 to go in this first half steal the eighth by South Iron results in the basket and the miss on the free throw by Ayers, tied up underneath. Jump ball possession error will favor South Iron. Ayers gets it in the corner, waiting for it. There's Parker. Parker drives in from seven, banks it off the glass. It will not go, but under control by Dinkins. Out to Ayers for the three. It's off the iron. It kicks out high, taken there by Dinkins. Dinkins back to Ayers, kicks it to Parker for the three. It pinballs out and brought down by Bunker. Sanders brought down the rebound. Unfortunately, she was knocked down by her own player going for the rebound. And that is a travel call. That's a tough break. Madison Ayers to inbound it. Sutton checks out. Ayers gets it in to Dinkins. Back to Parker, to Ayers, back to Dinkins, low post. Inside to Parker, trying to flip it up, no good. And a nice rebound there by Belk, her sixth of the game. Here's Barton. Over the timeline, flips it to right side. Turnbo has it. Turnbo driving in, left-handed shot, will not go. Back out on top to Sanders for the three, it's good. Nice rebound there by Paige Taft to get that out to Sanders. And she buries the three. 26-13 our score. The other way in the corner, Lexi Bollinger has it, trying to get that pass inside, stolen away as Peyton German loses it. Second steal for Bunker coming down, trying to flip that up was Turbo, could not get it to go, and then a foul called after the rebound by Ayers.
Foul called on the bunker, Lady Eagles, I believe on Barton, and that is her first. But it will put Ayers to shoot a one and one. That's the seventh team foul. Free throw is good by Madison. She's got 10 in this game already. Of the 27 points by South Iron. Next one is also good. As Belt brings it up, pass to Teft, back to Barton for that three. Trying to bank it in as she does. Kenzie Barton called that one off the glass. 28-16, pass in the corner to Dinkins. That ball tipped, but comes right back to Dinkins. Hensley out on top it goes to Miller on the perimeter. Back to Ayers, all the way across the floor to Drew Gale. Goes inside to Dinkins. That shot will not go, and it's brought under control by Sanders. Long pass, going to be tipped out of bounds by Ayers as Belk tried to airmail it across the floor. Too much air under it, and Ayers able to recover and tip that one out of bounds. Caitlin Belk will inbound it all the way across the floor to Lauren Ritter. Gets it back inside to Barton, back across to Belk for that three. It hits the front of the rim, the back of the rim, and pinballs out. Taken under control by Gale. Back the other way, Ayers, seven footer, good. 30 to 16. 335 to go, this is the first half. With it is Belk. Belk trying to get away, flips it down, intended for Ritter. Ball tipped and stolen away by South Iron. Here they come, back the other way. Underneath the basket, it's Dinkins on top to Ayers for that three. Will not fall and brought down and controlled there by Paige Taft. Here's Barton down the left wing. Cuts the middle of the floor. Stops at the top of the key. Goes right side Belk. Back to Barton between the circle. Sees a little alley and tried to drive that lane. Coming over, cutting her off is Rena Miller. And I think she'll get the foul. Nope, they're going to reach on a reach in by Lexi Bollinger. That's the one they're going to call. So Bollinger gets her first foul. Fourth team foul for South Iron. Bunker will inbound to a 2.59 to go in the half. Inbound. Turnaround flip shot will not go. And it's taken under control by Gale. Gale, long pass the other way to Dinkins. She lays it in. Ansley Dinkins has six. 32-16, South Iron. Pass comes to Ritter. Ritter goes back to Barton over the timeline. Barton trying to fire it in low. Taken there by Ayers. Down the right side to German. German inside to Parker off the back of the iron. It would not fall. And controlled there by Callie Sutton. Barton with it in the offensive zone. Barton trying to drive down, trying to flip it inside. Again, stolen away by South Iron. That's their 11th steal of this, the first half. And then Belk blocks the shot there by Anna Parker. It'll be a South Iron ball out of bounds. South Iron's transition game is just so good. You give teams, they take a mile and a half. So if you give them a little space, it seems like there's always two girls open. The inbound comes out on top, waiting for it, there's Parker. Now to Gale. Drew Gale to Ayers, beyond the left side, back between the circles to German. Those are right in the hands of Barton. Barton can't control it though. And then getting it back is German. Peyton German to Ayers, down the middle of the floor. Kicks it underneath, intended for Drew Gale. Went right through her hands and out of bounds. Ayers threw her a fastball. I think Gale was anticipating a changeup. And the ball zinged right between her hands. Here comes Turnbow to the timeline to Barton. Across the coast to Belk. Belk going in the corner to Sanders. Back to Belk on top, Barton. Barton back to Belk. 145 to go. Belk looking inside, nobody there. Fires it across, too hard and too high for Turnbow and out about turnover number 14 for the Lady Eagles. 
The inbound to Ayers. Hasn't left the floor much tonight, if at all. Ayers down the left side. Pulls up against Turnbow. Back to the middle of the floor. Parker goes left side, German. Back in the corner, Ayers. Flipping it down low to Dinkins. Back to Ayers. On the perimeter, 1.20 to go. Ayers stops back to Dinkins. Three-pointer up, and it's off the front of the rim. No good. Ball loose as Gale had that knocked out of her hands by the Lady Eagles. Ball under the basket belongs to South Iron with 1.15 to go. Gale looking inbound quickly to Ayers, and she goes right back to Gale. Reverse layup, no good. Dinkins with a rebound turn, spins, short jumper off the glass, count it. Ansley Dinkins with eight. She's got five rebounds in this game. Here's Turnbow, has it, handing it off to Barton. Now to Belk in the middle of the floor. Here in this first half, 34-16, South Iron. Belk, right side pass to Barton. Back to Belk. Back to Barton as they just kind of play handoff here. Now to Turnbow. Turnbow back to Belk, open for the three. Takes it, it's too hard. And it's brought down by Ayers on the back side. Long pass and off the fingertips and trying to keep it alive, but unable to was Anna Parker. Ball's a little bit too high for Parker, and then she, when she finally was able to locate it, she was off balance, couldn't keep it alive. Turnover number eight for South Iron. 30 seconds to go. Long pass. Goes down the floor, getting it there is Sanders underneath. Kicking it back, Sutton does the, to uh, Barton for the three. It does not fall. Ball loose on the floor, taken by Bunker. And then a foul called, I believe, on South Iron. And Drew Gale's going to get that foul. 14 seconds to go here in this, the first half. The inbound comes to Belk. She backs up beyond three. Now atop top Turnbow. Under 10 now. Turnbow. Well, double dribbles with the ball. Picked it up. Put it back down. Gives the ball back to South Iron. 15 turnovers in this first half for the Bunker Lady Eagles. 34-16. Ayers comes all the way down. Three seconds. Flips it up. Missed the shot. Brought down by Sanders underneath. And that does it for the first half of play as South Iron duplicates their first half 17 points, and they lead it by a score of 34 to 16 over the Bunker Lady Eagles. We are at halftime, and we'll go over some stats for you when we return in three minutes. This is Tiger basketball, I should say Eagle basketball, on KSMO Media. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there with tax season fast approaching you might have some questions that you need answered if so give the tax masters a call they have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. Tero Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Tarot Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. James and Sheena and the staff of Tarot Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies, allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, 
Licking and Mountain Grove and would welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard located inside the Town & Country Bank or you can call our office at 729-6624. No matter what, every morning, farmers go to work doing what needs done. The work is unforgiving. The days are long. Real long. They nurture, they grow, they harvest. When the day is done, sell the fruits of your labor to your neighbors on Town Screen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Susie Cahill, Director of Healthy Dent County Fitness Center. Are you looking for a place to begin your journey to better health? Come inside. Never in my life have I been in another atmosphere where everyone was so friendly and eager to help others. It's not just the staff, it's the members. They are so passionate about what they do and so excited to help you. If you're ready to begin your journey to better health, come by and see us. Welcome back to the Bunker High School Gymnasium. We are at halftime, 34-16. Lady Panthers over the Lady Eagles at this time. I do want to thank our friends uh, here in Bunker for putting us a little bit of sponsorship together for this game. And we really gave Bank our title sponsor of this contest. Big Mama's Buschetto, also GNS Convenience Store, The Love of God Ministries, Keisha and J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and r, &R Lawn Care. Without... Them being here doing this, it could not be possible. We have a lot of other sponsors from Salem also participating uh, in this broadcast, which we want to thank all of them also for making it possible for us to be here, bringing you the game on this Tuesday evening. We're glad that you could join us wherever you might be tuned into on KSMO Media. We hope you're enjoying it on our KSMO Stream Facebook page, our KSMO YouTube page, or if you're streaming us on KSMORadio.com on our Twitch account, Either, any of those Three will get you bunker basketball here, and we have another whole half to go. 34-16 our score, and kind of some of the numbers not indicative of the way the first half has gone, especially in the rebounds as bunker has actually out-rebounded. Uh, South Iron 17 and 15, but unfortunately not been able to find a range with any misses, and unfortunately for them, the Lady Panthers with 11 steals have converted on eight of them and converted that means some threes and some twos so if you can even if you just count the twos it's 16 points that kind of makes up the difference in this game all by itself but they did get a couple of threes off uh, those steals as well so right now that's a big big uh, big difference in this game is the steals by South Iron. Bunker with 15 turnovers. South Iron with just eight. Bunker with two steals. And I mentioned 11 for South Iron. Leading scorer in the game is Madison Ayer. She has 15 points, four rebounds. Following her is Ensley Dinkins with eight, six for Anna Parker, and five for Drew Gale. For the Bunker Lady Eagles, Kinsey Barton has seven points, three for Lexi Sanders, and a couple of points each for Caitlin Belk. Callie Sutton and Madison uh, Maddie Dickerson. Leading rebound for either team is Caitlin Belk with six. Following that, you have five for Ensley Dinkins and then uh, four for Lexi Sanders as well as for Madison Ayers in the game. So some good rebounding by Bunker, just not able to put that ball through the, you know, through the hoop, and that's the difference in this contest, 34-16. When you look at it, nobody besides Maddie Dickerson is in foul trouble. She has three, got three in that first half. Madison Ayers has two. That leads South Iron, but really no foul trouble here for either team except, again, Maddie Dickerson, who does have three going in to the second half. So as we look at this one, we have coming up for you uh, our second game of the night will be the South Iron Panthers and the Bunker Eagles, and it'll be the Varsity Boys game. They'll be following this one. That should be a dandy, and we hope you're going to stay with us for that one, which follows this one right after the teams get their warm-up in. 34-16, we are at halftime. As we take a look into the future, we do want to let you know that for those who are watching 
here on KSMO Media. We will be doing the bunker graduation again this year. We've been given the go-ahead to do that. Did it last year. It was a very big success, and so we hope you'll join us for that. It's usually the first Saturday in May. We'll get confirmation of that from Superintendent Melissa Nash, but we will be broadcasting that on KSMO Media as well. We're going to take a two-minute break and come back with the second half. 34-16. South Iron with the lead. Back in two minutes, this is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your car or truck. Teenage Auto Supply has these great deals going on now. Get a Flow Tool Super Duty 20-quart Less Best Drain Pan for $10.99. A Performance Tool Suction Gun only $12.99. And a Performance Tool 3-pound Sledgehammer is $16.99. Teenage Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store in Salem. Park City, yeah! Have you tried the new family bistro in Bunker? Well, let me tell you about Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro and Hotel. They have homemade lunch and dinner specials and a food bar. Plus, they have delicious cheesecakes and other desserts. For carryout orders, call 689-2782 or check them out on Facebook, Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro and Hotel. Open seven days a week. GNS Convenience Store in Bunker is your one-stop shop. Stop in to top off your tank. They've got gas and diesel. Come inside and pick up your groceries. Get a coffee or soda to go, some snacks for the kiddos, or head to the deli counter for fresh meats and cheeses. GNS Convenience Store in Bunker has a little bit of everything, and they're open seven days a week. also light a pile of money on fire Sorry. because as long as mister it wasn't my fault takes the wheel on occasion maintaining this car is your best option so keep it running longer stronger Sorry. with quality parts and a whole lot of napa know-how dad where are you going relationships we're getting ready for the second half of the Lady Panther Lady Eagle game Stan Stevens and KSMO Media Ben Kronowski on the switching of the controls here He's hiding in the corner. That's a good place for Ben to hide. Again, we want to thank all our sponsors from Bunker to help make this possible. People's Bank, our title sponsor for the game tonight, along with Big Mama's Buchetto, GNS Convenience Store, The Love of God Ministries, Keisha and J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and R&R Lawn Care. I want to thank these local sponsors for allowing us to be here and be a part of the game tonight between South Iron and Bunker. Right now, it's Barton with the ball. Goes out on top to Teft, giving it to Belk. Belk trying to flip it down low to Teft. Does. Teft loses the ball and then ties up. German possession arrow ball will favor South Iron. Just underway here, second half. Here's Madison Ayers driving down the left wing against Barton. Pulls up, stops, flips it over to Drew Gale. Gale back to Madison Ayers. Ayers will hang on to it, giving it over to Anna Parker. Parker right side corner to German. To Dinkins, back to Parker. Inside the Ayers. Ayers inside that paint, kicks it outside. And it goes over the head of German on the pass across by Drew Gale. Have some coaches kind of standing right in our line of view there. Couldn't see who the pass is intended for. The inbound pass comes to Barton, giving it back. Now to Belk. Belk in the offensive zone. Gets by Dinkins. Flips it right side to Turnbow. Back to Belk. Thought about a long three. Back to Turnbow. Back to Barton. Barton top of the key. Trying to get away from Gale. I'm sorry. From Dinkins. Goes down low. Shot up too short. And trying to drive for that one was Belk. Couldn't get the rebound. Comes underneath to Ayers. A long pass. Intended for Dinkins. Off the glass. And in. Ayers with the rebound and gets it down to Dinkins on the full court press. On the full court pass, now the full court press by South Iron. Got a little ahead of myself. Turnbow trying to get across the timeline and does, and then she'll be fouled there by Peyton German. Peyton's second foul. 
36-16, Lady Panthers on top. The inbound coming to Turnbow, over to Barton. Barton drives the right side beyond three, handing it off there to Dickerson. On top, Turnbow right at the top of the key, guarded there by German. German runs in, Ayers, they'll tie it up. Ball goes back to Bunker. Belgrade inbounded. Flips it back to Barton on her own side of the timeline. Crosses easily, guarded there by Parker. Gets a pick, drives all the way down, flips it up and good. Nice play by Kinsey Barton. Long pass down to Dinkins again, wide open, lays it up but misses the shot. Loose on the floor and nobody really has control. Possession arrow will favor South Iron. Dinkins with the layup, missed it. Again, she's down the floor quickly in the long pass by South Iron with two girls actually behind the defense of the Lady Eagles. Pass goes out to Parker. Parker trying to drive in. Kent goes out on top to German. In the corner to Ayers. All the way down. A little flip scoop. Nope. Will not go. And taken tip there by Teft over to Belk. Now to in the corner goes to Dickerson for the three. It's too short and captured by Gale. To Gale. Giving it off to Ayers at 5.41 to go third quarter. Dinkins. To German for a long three, way off line. And Dickerson brings down that rebound. Belk for Bunker. Trying to drive in the white uniforms. Lost it, gets it back as it was knocked out of her hands by German. Drives around the three point line. Now pulls back up, goes to Barton. Barton wide open for the three, takes it off the iron. Comes down in the hands of Barton, followed up, puts it back up and in. That's the way you follow up your shot. Kinsey did it exactly perfect. The three-point misses. She comes back with a rebound, puts it home, and Bunker trails by 16 with 5.09 to go in the third quarter. Timeout called. We'll take a 30-second break and return. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Relationships. It's not just being on a first-name basis. It's a part. This is Scott Ball, President of the Bank of Salem. Since 1883, the Bank of Salem has been serving our local community with the kind of personal service and professionalism that builds relationships. We've earned the trust of our customers with over a century of strength and stability, never once changing our name or compromising customer service. Stop by one of our two locations in Salem, visit our website, or download our free mobile app. The Bank of Salem, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. <coughs> High School Jim in Bunker. Happy New Year from all of us at KSMO Media. Hope you're enjoying the game. 36-20 South Iron on top. Again, want to thank our title sponsor, People's Bank, for making it possible for us to help be here to bring you this game on streaming on KSMO Media. Always appreciate the local support. Shop local whenever possible. Here comes South Iron Dinkins right at the middle of the floor. Dinkins underneath right off the face of Anna Parker. Pass right in her chops. Unable to hang on to that one, obviously. Goes out of bounds. Belongs to the Bunker Lady Eagles. Belk trying to get out of her zone. Getting all that pressure by South Iron. And she gets to the timeline. Fires it down for Dickerson. Trying to keep it alive, but could only knock it back. And here comes South Iron the other way. Into the middle of the floor is Parker trying to flip it up. No good. Dinkins gets the rebound, puts it up. No good. Gets the rebound again, and then a foul is going to be called. Ensley Dinkins with a couple of rebounds there. <laughs> foul called on Callie Sutton. Not a shooting foul. 439 to go third quarter. That's first foul on Bunker. The inbound comes in to Dinkins. Now back to Ayers. Right side pass. Goes back to Dinkins as that was German with that pass. Dinkins short jumper too short. Brought down, tied up. Possession arrow will favor the Bunker Lady Eagles. As Barton and Dinkins tied it up. Bell will get in to Barton trying to get away from Miller. Barton at the middle of the floor. Flips it down to Turnbow. Turbo in the corner, Dickerson for the three-pointer. It's good. Maddie Dickerson 
Buries it from the corner, 36-23. Ayers falls down, flips it back to Gale. Gale walks with it, but no call there. Now to German. Ball tip and almost stolen away by Bunker, but it comes back to Dinkins, lays it up and in. A fortunate break for South Iron. The ball is tipped, but went right back to the Lady Iron uh, Panthers. And now a foul is going to be called on Maddie Ayers for bumping into Turnbow. Her third foul. Inbound comes to Turnbow from Belk. Turnbow spins. Bounce pass back to Belk. Belk trying to drive in. Does. Nice play. Jump shot. Good. Caitlin Belk has four now in the lead. Down to 13. Long pass down. The way to Dink out there by Callie Sutton, and that'll be her third. And that will be a shooting. Dinkins. So Ensley will shoot the free throw, and it's good. First free throws of this half. Six of nine was Lady Panthers in that first half and misses by Taft. Back the other way, Bunker all the way down. Flip shot by Turnbow, off to the left. Another long pass down to Dinkins, quickly down, laying it up and in is Parker. So Ayers gets the rebound, just fires it down the floor. Quickly the other way. Sutton goes inside to Teft. Teft off the glass. Missed it. Brought down by number 23, Ensley Dinkins. She's had a good night rebounding for sure. Now here's Ayers. Outside it goes to Parker for a three. It's good. Anna Parker hits the three. It's her first of the night. She had like five against Salem. Now the other way. Sutton for the three. I should say Sanders, I should say, and she buries it. Responding quickly, 428. Sat top, outside it goes to Rena Miller. Miller stops, guarded there by Sanders. Back to Ayers, right side pass to Miller. On top, go back to Ayers, left wing. Goes in the corner, the three up and good by Drew Gale. Her second three of the game. 19 point lead for the Lady Panthers. A long pass intended for Sanders, tipped and stolen away by South Iron. Back they come the other way. Ayers all the way down off the glass and in. Maddie Ayers has 17. Lead now 21. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Belk for the Lady Eagles. Tightly guarded by Miller. Getting it there to Teft. Back to Belk. Belk trying to get a pick there and go inside. Can now does. Nice shot by Belk. Little baby hook. It goes down. She has six. And a timeout call on the floor. 49-30. Iron on top. 42 to go third quarter. We're going to come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger, I should say, Eagle basketball on KSMO Media. <laughs> I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently, there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals, and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH, we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. Most of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. KSMO Media in Bunker, Missouri, bringing you Eagle basketball. Welcome to 2023. Lots of basketball on the horizon. We'll be in Salem on Friday night for the Salem Eldon Mustang game. We'll be video streaming the freshman game at around 5, I believe, what they're saying. The information, they may start that at 4.30. JV game, and then we'll have the play-by-play -play and the varsity game at about 7.15 Friday night from Salem High School Gym. This is Bunker, Missouri. It's Maddie Ayers bringing it across the timeline, pulling up at center court. 
Bounce pass to Rena Miller. Miller guarded there by Barton, trying to get away. Spins, gives it back to number 23, Ensley Dinkins. On top, Maddie Ayers, driving baseline, stops, goes inside, leaned in, and gets draws the, the charge, I'm sorry, draws the blocking foul, did not get called for the charge, even though she did dip that shoulder. A lot of times they'll get that charge call. Paige Teft called for that foul. Ayers to the free throw line, misses. She's been 50% from the free throw line all night. Right now, shade under. Back to 50, four for eight. She has 18 points. It's a 20 point South Iron lead. With a minute and 18 to go here in this, the third quarter. Belt, double team, goes to Barton. Barton in the middle of the floor for Paige Teft. Comes down to Dickerson. Dickerson back to Teft. Teft kicks it out to Belk. Open for the three. Takes it off the iron. Kicks out high to Ritter. Back to Belk. We'll try it again. This one's a little too short. And goes off the hands of Dickerson out of bounds. Lauren Ritter with a nice rebound. Kick it right back to Belk with that second opportunity. But it came up a little short. And Ayers will bring it back up. Ayers the middle of the floor, Dinkins outside to Miller, back to Ayers, top of the key, looking left, goes that way to Parker. Parker bounce pass inside to Dinkins, baby hook, blocked there by Teft, and a foul is called. Page is third. Another shooting foul for South Iron. Dinkins, who has 13 points, Hits the free throw. She has another one coming. Ensley Dinkins. Hits them both. She has seven points in this third quarter. Lead all scores. 15 on the night. Bunker back the other way. Barton with 34 seconds is fouled as she starts driving down the right side. I believe Rena Miller is going to pick up that foul. Her first. 33 seconds. The inbound comes to Barton. Quickly double team as she's trapped against the timeline. Flips it back the other way to Belk. Belk backs up, has Dickerson with her. Now goes back to Barton. 21 seconds. Now inside, getting it there is De Leon, and that one does not fall. She fights for it, gets that ball back now to Ritter, and a foul's going to be called on South Iron. Jaden De Leon with a nice rebound. Foul on Lexi Bollinger. The inbound comes, ball tipped away and stolen by South Iron. Here comes the other way. Parker all the way down, off the glass and in. Three seconds left. Here comes Bell trying to flip it over to Barnett. Half court shot. No good. We have played three quarters here. It is South Iron 54 and the Bunker Lady Eagles 30. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Basketball. I should say Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as pain relief, BioFreeze products. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you, if you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. Eight minutes remain in this one. Fourth quarter action. 54-30. 
South Iron. They have the ball. They'll inbound it. And they get it across to Madison Ayers. Ayers, top of the key right side. German flips it back across the floor to Parker. Back to Ayers. 24-point South Iron lead. They go back to Parker for the three, and it's good. Anna Parker now at 16. They got three girls now in double figures. Dinkins, Ayers, and that three is up and good by Bell. Pass across to Gale in the offensive zone. Parker back on top as they just keep moving on the perimeter. Now back to Parker over to Ayers. She'll take the three this time, and she buries it. Madison Ayers, 21 points to lead all scores in this game. Lead now 27. And a travel call on Bunker as they try to get up against the press. South Iron relentless in that press. They just don't constantly keep pressure on the opposing team. Madison Ayers looks like she got a cramp in her right foot. 60 to 33. Here comes Parker. Kicks it outside to German. To Ayers on the baseline. Left side now on the perimeter. Moving it from left to right. Back to German in between the circles. Right side pass Ayers. Kicks it down low to Gale for that three. It's off the iron and taken under control by Parker. Anna Parker. Backs out, top of the key, now between the circles, left side pass, German. Guard there by Turnbow. They kick it back to Ayers, all the way down, shot partially blocked. But a foul's going to be called, I believe, on Alexi Sanders. Sanders will get the foul. And that'll be a shooting foul, fifth team foul on Bunker. Ayers to the line, and she hits the first. She shoots a a lot of free throws. Not about that. Next one also good. Here comes Bunker. Barton comes the other way. Kicks it outside to Turnbo. Back to Dickerson. Handing it off to Barton to Turnbow for the three. It's off the iron. Kicks down low, taken there by Bunker's Lauren Ritter. Back again, banks that one in is Turnbow. Back the other way. Dinkins has that shot blocked as she turned around. After the pass from Parker, draws the foul. And Barton will get her second foul. Kinsey's had a good game for Bunker. 62-36 our score, 6.08 to go. Dinkins' free throw is good. And four of five from the stripe, and has another one yet to come. She has 16 points in this game. Next one is also good. Using the rim off the glass and in. 28-point lead. By South Iron with six minutes to go. Here's Barton. Top of the key, starts driving in, kicks it back. Ritter, handing that ball off to Turnbow. Turnbow back to Barton, three-pointers up. It's good. And a timeout called by Bunker. 64-39 our score, 551 remaining in the fourth quarter. South Iron on top will come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger, I should say Eagle basketball on KSMO Media. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm here to talk about life, your life, your dreams, your work, your family, and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. Because just like you, I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. 64-39. Three threes in this fourth quarter by the Bunker Lady Eagles. Barton, Belk, and Turnbow all hitting that three. Couple of threes in this fourth quarter by South Iron as well. And then also four for four from the free throw line. 
Inbounding, it'll be South Iron. Bunker's been pretty much playing, I would say, a modified half-court defense with one, one person kind of pressing. Down low, though, South Iron is able to immediately get the ball down the court. It's one thing they are so good at is recognizing they put two girls down deep, both mostly around the low post area, and they're able to flare out along the baseline to constantly give them a wide open shot. As Paige Teft fouls Parker and she hits the free throw. Paige now with four fouls. And Parker hits the free throw. She has another one coming. This one's good. Six for six in the stripe here in this fourth quarter is South Iron. Lady Panthers right now 18 to 24, 75% from the free throw line in the game. Pass goes back to Barton from Belk. Barton trying to circle around back to Dickerson, back to Barton baseline, trying to kick it into the middle, stolen away by South Iron. Here comes Parker all the way down, lays it up and in. Bunker's fifth turnover of the second half. Makes it a 29-point game. Barton back to Belk. Belk right wing. To Teft back to Belk for the three. It's short. Taken underneath the basket by Gale. Quickly the other way. Here's Parker again. Lays it up and in. You can't defense speed. Well, Parker's got some. She just takes off. The moment that South Iron gets the ball, she's usually open. Or if not open, she's on her route to being open. Here's Dickerson in the corner. Getting it back to Barton. Barton spins, turns. Now backs it out a little bit. Stops, takes a long three, and it's off the iron. Fought for by DeLeon and also by number 25, Allie Martin, who just came in the game moments ago. Possession arrow does favor Bunker. Turnbow to come in. She'll come in for Barton. Kinsey's had an outstanding night, 14 points. Dickerson trying to flip it in. Ball still loose on the floor. And it's stolen away by South Iron. Down low to Dinkins. Missed that on the try. Little baby flip. Teft brings down the rebound, but then turns it right back over. To South Iron. Ayers for the three hits. They don't waste a lot of time now with a 34 point lead. South Iron taking advantage of all the Lady Eagle mistakes. Here's Belk. All the way across. Now Dickerson on top. Turnbo. Turnbo. Back to Dickerson. Trying to drive in. Stops. And a foul called on South Iron. Clock will run now with the 30 point rule. Foul called on Ensley Dinkins. That is her first. Dickerson checks out. Ben back. Can he get out to Turnbo? Outside it goes for a three. Missing that one is Ritter. Fall a little bit short. Three minutes remaining, and the clock is moving. Gale getting it into Parker. Parker will drive it up the floor. Goes between the circles, taking your time. Flips the left side, German. Into the, floor, into the middle, four to Dinkins. Outside to Gale for the three, and it's good. Drew Gale has three threes in this game. She now has double figures. That's four. Lady Panthers in double figures tonight. And the ball stolen away again by South Iron. Here comes Parker all the way down, lays it up and misses, but a call for a travel was Anna Parker. So Parker, a lot of the girls will check out now with minutes and change left. Running clock. Miller in as they go to the top of the key to, to Lauren Ritter back to Belk. Belk guarded there by Ali Martin. Takes the jumper short. Tipped. It comes down the hands of Miller. Miller trying to get out of the zone. Does. 
Moves into the offensive zone. Flips it across to Lexi Bollinger. Bollinger goes back to Page German. Page on top, Rena Miller. One and a half to go. Right side pass to Bollinger. Back to Page, German, bounce pass, Bollinger, right side, all the way into the middle of the floor for Allie Martin. The jumper will not go. Tipped, caught down by Martin, fought for, comes into the hands of Bollinger. The jumper's up and good. Lexi Bollinger hits the jumper, 78 to 39, with a minute and five to go. Has it in the middle of the floor, back to Ritter. Lauren drives right side, handing that ball off to Jesse Damon. She gives it off to Belk in the corner for that three off the iron. Comes down on the floor, battled for, and possession arrow will favor South Iron. So Belk will check out. Sanders in the game. As Rena Miller will bring it over. 29 seconds to go. Flips it across to German. German back to Rena Miller. Rena, right wing. Lexi Bollinger has it back to Miller. Now to German. Moves to her left. And now wants to flip it back. Hands that ball off to Miller. Trying to get away from Turnbow. Turnbow ties her up. Possession arrow will favor the Bunker Eagles. But time is going to run out. On this game. 78. South Iron wins it over the Bunker Lady Eagles here in conference play. We're going to take a three minute break, come back with stats from this one on the Lady side when we return. This is Lady Eagle basketball on KSMO Media. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Your legacy, protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Cameron Irway in Salem today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. With tax season fast approaching, you might have some questions that you need answered. If so, give the tax masters a call. They have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing. Don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. 
Come and see Jackie or Beth at Tax Masters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. Lady Tigers, I'm sorry, Lady Eagles as we're getting ready, we're watching the boys warm up. Lady Eagles lose to South Iron 78-39 in this one. And uh, just an outstanding effort by the Lady Panthers again. Such deep scoring. Madison Ayers finishing with 26. Anna Parker 22. 17 for Ensley Dinkins. And 11 for Drew Gale. Four girls in double figures. They were 18 to 24 from the free throw line. They did have two points in there from Lexi Bouncer just as a bonus. They had 12 turnovers. They had 18 steals in the game. And they played outstanding. And they finished the night with a total of 24 rebounds. For the Bunker Lady Eagles, Kinsley, uh, Kinsey Barton, 14 points to lead them. Caitlin Belk had nine. Six for Leslie or Lexi Sanders. Five for Maddie Dickerson. A couple of points for Callie Sutton and three for Haley Turnbow in the game. Bunker finished with a total of 24 rebounds in the game. They had three steals, but 22 turnovers in the contest as Bunker loses this one by a score of 78 39. We would like you to stick around. We have coming up next varsity boys basketball. It'll be the Panthers and the Eagles and we return in our next stream coming up in just a few minutes. We invite you to stick around for that right here on KSMO Media. Thank you for watching this special broadcast of Bunker Lady Eagles basketball. Tonight's game was brought to you by People's Community Bank, GNS Convenience Store, Big Mama's Fuchetto Bistro, Mel and Linda Ritter, Keisha and Junior Meyer, R&R &R Lawn Care, Love of God Ministries, NH Auto Supply, Salem Memorial District Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Bank of Salem, Napa Monet Auto Supply, Progressive Ozark Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Town and Country Insurance, Thero Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust, South Town Furniture, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Living the Dream Outdoor Properties, Wilson Mortuary, Elwood Real Estate, Dent County Vet Clinic, Line by Design Health Center, Hometown Mechanical, Ozark Overhead Door, Healthy Dent County, and Town Screen LLC.